Fire sticks, let's talk about the fire sticks, also known as the pencil cactus. It is uh, normally a little bit more colorful than this. This one has been basking out in the sun and I suspect there should be more color on it, but maybe I can uh, walk you through and problem solve reasons for that. Also, before I get into all of the care tips for the fire sticks or this pencil cactus, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification in that lower corner to find more videos on my future content. And back to the fire sticks, also known as pencil, pencil cactus. It, uh, I've had this for about a year and a half. It's given me no problems really simple and easy to take care of. I know you're thinking, wait a second, I thought you did tropical house plants. How come you're coming at me with this cactus? But I will review it if I like it. And I definitely love these. Uh, normally, you know, especially it's in the middle of the summer right now, it's like July 18th, and it should be burning red but for whatever reason, it's not. Uh, I've got it in full sun. It loves full sun. It loves to sit out in the heat. That's its natural environment. I've got it in cactus soil. I let it dry out. So maybe it's just something that will kind of evolve over time. I think the main reason is because I brought it in during the winter and during the winter, it uh, relegated back to its just green color which is still cool so don't get me wrong there is some coloration on it lightly a little bit of orange a little bit of yellow but mainly uh still kind of a lime to a medium green color and i'm okay with that but these you will see them be like very red when they uh, stay out in that hot sun and that's the way to get that color but other than that real simple and easy to take care of like I really don't have to keep expanding on all the care tips. You can let them dry out completely. They do store water in their leaves. I will uh, also let you know that these are very toxic. Uh, keep your pets at bay because um, so there's a there's a uh, uh, compound in these leaves and if you get any of it on your hands quickly go and wash your hands off if you get that in your eye it can cause temporarily temporary blindness so beware of that super toxic and i would imagine it's just not great for plant uh, pets so beware you know other than that, you know, give it a cactus soil, give it tons of light, give it just a little bit of water, let it dry out, and it'll love you forever. And they will get, I, I have clients that have one of these, they've had it for 20 years, and theirs is like seven feet tall. It's uh, just a really cool, awesome character-based plant. It really kind of like draws commands its own attention so i'm happy to have it i'm happy to share this with you i'm glad we could you know go through the rolodex look out for you know I, what i want to do here in the future is do a plant tour people have been asking me about it and i've been thinking a lot about it and i just haven't got around to it yet but it is something that is in store for the near future so stick your stick stick your uh stick around and tune in to the channel when i go and deliver that houseplant tour it's gonna be loaded so watch out and i'll see you then all right next time